Daniel Bland with Jackson County Surveyor. Uh, I took office in January of 2013. Um, I'm starting my second term here in office. My name is Brad McPike. I work here at the Jackson County Surveyor's Office and I've been here about five years now. I'm Connor Barnett. I'm the Jackson County Building Commissioner for the Planning and Zoning Office as well as Floodplain Administrator for the County and GIS Administrator. I've been here since December of 2015. I've been involved in land surveying for, in some capacity for 20 years. I've uh, been a licensed land surveyor for about the last 14, 15 years. Spending so many years in private practice land surveying uh, gave me the idea of what I would want to see, um, kind of my ideal county surveyor position. I wanted to see it move into more of a technology state where things were available online, uh, information can be found faster, easier. I try to find what's the most advanced way I can do it so that the information can be found quickly um, and readily available whether that's online or here in our office through the GIS. WTH was, was fantastic with getting with us and finding out how do we get this information into a digital format. When I took office, everything was mostly done by just written paper, uh, which so many offices are. Our transfers, uh, our parcel transfers were done by parcel card, which was just basically an index card with, with handwritten deed information on it. Um, our section corners were a lot of the same way. From an outside standpoint, before I came in here doing research, it, it was very time consuming to try to go through the different records. It was all paper records, very little of it had been scanned, uh, no indexing really whatsoever. Going back and scanning the documents, we found several documents that may be in the wrong folder. You know, if they're in the wrong folder, you don't find them. If you don't find them, where do you look for them? So now that they're indexed in a computer program, I mean, that data is always available. You can search that and find it now. Having surveys on the GIS is extremely beneficial. Uh, a lot of our records are, are different sizes. So before the GIS, you may have to go to a couple different file cabinets and you may have to go through a couple bigger plat drawer systems just to look in one area. Now it's, it's all in one area right there on the screen, easily accessible. Our building permits from when zoning came into effect in 1968 have been filed by last name. So if you build a house um, and it's sold three or four times and then you come back and you say, hey, I want to see the history of the permits that have been pulled and um, applied for on my home, unless we knew who owned it when that permit came through, we couldn't find it. We took different thought processes on how we should try to do the indexing and get things organized better. Um, we started out trying to do maybe like a database program or something like that. But the thing was, especially with surveyors, we are very visual people. So being able to see this information on a map was, was the best solution for us. And, and the Think GIS software was where we needed to go. If a survey comes in to the county to be recorded, it, it begins at the uh, recorder's office. And then from there, they'll give us a copy and we scan it into the system down here. When someone comes in for a building permit, into our office for a building permit, we, um, we require a septic permit, a driveway permit, a survey, um, a legal description, house plans, and then a site plan with setbacks. From the GIS, we'll, we'll add the icon and the permit number onto the map on the parcel. That creates a form where we can open up Adobe Acrobat to where we already have our forms pre-made. So you know if you're applying for a building permit it's on there, special exceptions on there, variances on there, property maintenance is on there. So we'll go through and find the form we need, delete the others out. We'll fill out the building permit form. It's all attached to the map and attached to that parcel. Now that's all right there. 
on the parcel and I can say, well, you know, here's the four permits, here's the site plans, here's the everything we have scanned in is right there at a click of a mouse. We're at a place right now to where we've got all the forms updated and the layers updated to where, you know, like for building permits, for example, if someone comes in, we can get them in and out the door, you know, pending inspection in about 10 to 15 minutes. We never get backlogged. We never have to go digging through filing cabinets. I had a goal when I took office to someday see every section corner um, in Jackson County established with a good tie. Um, and the GIS software has helped me um, not only keep track of when ties were performed, but it helps me keep track of where we need to go to fulfill that goal. We have a paving program um, through our county highway department, so any new roads that are paved, um, any chip and seal, we're not losing section corners. We're, we're, we're maintaining what we have. Um, and with this system, it, it enables my field crew to go out if there's a new paving project to quickly see what section corners need to be reestablished um, it, it, they can take the information straight to them in the field. With the WTHGIS system, we have found that it's very easy to create layers. It's a very user-friendly software, um, so it's easy to, to come up with new ideas. It's easy to come up with new plans knowing that you've got a system in place that's going to help you achieve those goals. Um, it allows us to show specific pieces of information at once. So we're not bombarded with information. We can look specifically at, at whether that's a specific corner, a specific ditch, or whether that's a vacated alley. We're able to turn on bits and pieces of information and see that quickly and see just the information that we want to see. Um, we've done a lot of things from tracking uh, accidents um, through the GIS for the Sheriff's Department. Um, we've put, been able to put together um, uh, right-of-way information for our legal drains. Um, it, the, we've been able to create layers for easements for our drains and our right-of-ways. Uh, we've been able to go in and create um, scenarios where the minutes from the meeting are copied in so you can go back and find whether there's been a variance that's been approved um, and click on that. That's, that's, that's all been entered into the GIS. In the past, finding some of these issues that's happened in our county was a matter of going back through minutes and sometimes just trying to find a needle in a haystack to try to find something that was done in a meeting that may be 10, 15, 20 or, or more years old. It's all about being able to find information in a hurry um, and, and having a reliable system um, that when something comes up we can go to that in, in a hurry. I would tell other surveyors that you will find that once you get the hang of this GIS software, entering in data is so easy that you start thinking of new ways and new data that you can enter in. It just seems like it's just the sky's the limit of data that you can put into the system. We have far less storage for records. Um, everything's internal and digitally now and it, and it lasts forever. Surveys were not available, but they are now, which is huge. You can get out in the field, pull up any survey in the county that's ever been recorded, and it's attached to that parcel. You know, even five years ago, our zoning maps weren't up, or ten years ago, our zoning maps weren't uploaded on the GIS website. Now you can pull up and see that your parcel is zone A1 agricultural, or um, you can get on there and see if you're in the floodplain. It's just we're trying to push as much information as, as possible onto the GIS website. We've gotten to now where we're a paperless office. Everything's digital through the GIS and Adobe Acrobat tied into that. Everything's at a click of a mouse. Now your icon is attached to the parcel. So anything that is ever scanned in or any building permit that ever comes through is attached to that piece of land. No one's last name, nobody's tax identification number. I mean, it's just that piece of land. It's a click of a mouse away. It's really helped us out here. Uh, quite frankly, I, this is all I need. I mean, we're to a point where with the GIS and everything being scanned in, and I mean, I can work off my computer and I don't need a whole lot of extra space and filing cabinet and storage. So, that I mean, that's great. I'm, everything that I use on a daily basis for, for the most part is here on this, this software and on this computer.